Howdy, howdy, everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Mohan. If you don't know who I am, I am a nationally touring stand-up comedian, uh, but I am also the host of a sociopolitical commentary, comedy commentary show called Forkful of Noodles. Uh, so I wanted to do a, a little video about uh, what Forkful of Noodles is and uh, give you guys a little background on what happens behind the scenes um, and, uh, and why you can support my show, Forkful of Noodles, by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, so Forkful of Noodles started uh, uh, back in 2013. Uh, I started it by myself. I would uh, choose one sociopolitical topic that was currently in the news or uh, was of interest to me and I would make these short sort of pseudo sketches. I would have a commentary portion and then I would have character vignettes that would represent certain people. Uh, and in the beginning I, I, I had a lot of uh, my comedian friends that would help me punch up some of the, uh, some of the scripts uh, but they would also uh, act as a variety of different recurring characters. Uh, and that was like the first maybe 45, 50 episodes of the show. Uh, and then it just started evolving into uh, being a little bit more of a talking head style show. You know, more, more like a, a commentary show rather than like a, a political sketch vignette type of show. And uh, it was a little bit more true to, to my voice and what I've always wanted to do, which is address sociopolitical issues through comedy. Uh, because I think comedy is is sort of this great equalizer. I think it gets people to pay attention to, to these ideas. And if you can kind of laugh about certain things, it drops your defenses. Uh, and it uh, uh, makes it a little bit more easier to absorb these tougher sort of political, philosophical, and social issues. And, and just have a conversation about them. Uh, and, uh, and, and just be okay with them. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's where that's it started uh, in 2013 as one thing and it evolved into into what it is now um, so uh, even when I was doing it with other comedians the bulk of the writing would be done by me all the research would be done by me uh, I used to have a, a videographer that I would be that that, that would help me out um, but once again the things changed and as it shifted more into into being uh, an independent project uh, an independent series. Uh, all of the work is done by me now. <laughs> uh, shows shows that kind of do this sort of stuff, right? Like your John Oliver's, your 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 Daily Shows, who I'm pseudo fans of at this point. Um, those kind of shows have a whole staff that takes care of researching. They have a large writing staff of five or six different people. Um, they have cameramen. They have advertisers that support those shows. Uh, so all of that stuff is done by me. I'm the only employee of the show and I try to put out content every single week. Um, and I pick a topic and I research as much as I can. That's usually where it starts. So, you know, if, whether it's, uh, climate change, uh, the cost of organic food, uh, what's going on with the immigration crisis, what is happening with um, environmentalism, uh, what the wage gaps, uh, capitalism, whatever the topic is uh, that, that I want to cover, I uh, do as much research about that as I possibly can. And that, you know, every, every article that I lead might lead me to a different article that might give me a different perspective. And I really try to approach it uh, with as many angles as I possibly can. Uh, but even if it's angles that I don't particularly agree with, I think it's important to showcase the ideas that, uh, that um, I don't agree with and why I don't agree with them because it's part of critical thinking and uh, I am a big proponent of critical thinking. You should know uh, why you don't believe in an idea and why you do believe in an idea. Uh, so I try to do all of that and that, that is hours of research. That's at least two or three days uh, of me just researching and doing a lot of note taking. Uh, I read articles, I read essays, I watch a lot of videos, uh, other commentators to see what other people's opinions on this are, whether, I, whether uh, you know, it's something that, uh, it's an idea that's already been covered and I don't have to shine, you know, four or five minutes on that idea. I can give it like a quick minute and move to it something different. Um, 
And then after all of that note taking is taken care of, uh, I will get to the first draft. And the first draft is me just kind of just writing as much as I can. Uh, and uh, usually if it's, if it's a singular episode, uh, if it's just one episode, it's anywhere between three to like six pages. Um, if it's multiple different parts, like if it's, if it's one very large topic that requires a variety of different segments, variety of different focuses, and it ends up being like four or five parts, uh, that can range anywhere from like seven to 15, 16 pages, uh, which is a lot. It's a lot, uh, a lot of writing. And once I write it, and it's sort of stream of consciousness, and I, you know, I gather all my, all, all of the facts, and make write write the comedy out of the facts, um, and put my thoughts into it. I start editing stuff down. I start paring it all down. So that takes another couple days to do that sort of stuff, uh, and sharpen up the jokes, make sure that they make sense, make sure that my grammar sounds okay. Uh, and as I do that, I, I try to, to learn the script as much as I possibly can. Uh, once I, once, once all of that is set and done, uh, I start, uh, to, you, getting the graphics ready for the video. Um, so I do my own graphics and I do, I, you know, like if I have video sources, I clip them up and make sure that, uh, people know what the video sources are. Uh, you know, it's like Democracy Now! or, or Redacted Tonight VIP, Act Out, Empire Files with Abby Martin, or uh, if it, even if it's some sort of mainstream outlet like uh, NPR or whatever it is, uh, make sure people know what, where, where it's coming from and, and what I'm dissecting. Um, so uh, that takes me a few hours to do because then I'll, I also take screen caps of, um, you know, portions of articles that I'm either quoting or I'm getting the information from and creating graphic slides out of them so that I can show people like where this information is coming from and, and, and if they choose to, they can read the quote or they can read the information that I'm, uh, I'm summarizing. Uh, so that takes me a few hours to do. Uh, depending on the episodes, it, it's anywhere between one and five uh, to do that sort of stuff. And then I film it, um, I film the episode uh, which, again, depending on how many episodes it is, depending on the size of the content, it can be anywhere from uh, 25, 30 minutes, all the way up to an hour and a half, just to film it. Uh, then I start editing. Uh, I do my own editing, video and ed audio editing. Um, uh, I chop up the episode, I delete portions of it. Um, I'm making sure that all of the clips are getting in, all of the uh, source cards are getting in there, um, and then I export it and upload it to YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Anchor.fm, which puts it out into all of your all of my podcasting networks, from Stitcher to Spotify to iTunes and all that sort of stuff. So there is a, a there, there's a video and an audio uh, version of Forkful of Noodles as well, uh, and then it's on to promoting. So I promote it via an email list that you can subscribe to get weekly updates to Forkful of Noodles. Um, I, I uh, share it within uh, different types of political groups that might be interested in that idea uh, through all of my social media networks, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Minds.com, uh, Steam It, my website. So I, I then go into promo mode for the rest of the week uh, until the next week starts and then it's back to upload and back to promoting while still doing all of the researching, while still doing any more of the writing, um, you know, and so, some of the episodes don't have this level of involvement. Um, some of the episodes I uh, am veering into this direction a little bit is um, looking at articles or looking at certain events um, and kind of breaking them down. Uh, breaking them down in terms of like I read the article and then break down what we read, uh, hopefully using comedy. So that one, that that style of video is a little bit less intensive uh, and involves more of like I have to write down points, 
you know, within what I'm reading that I want to hit. Uh, if I have a joke that I need to remember, making sure I write that down so I can hit that joke. Um, so that's a little bit looser in terms of like how I'm uh, how I'm approaching that. Um, but nonetheless, that's what that's what uh, episodes of Forkful of Noodles entail. Uh, all of that work is what episodes of Forkful of Noodles entail. So if, if you are interested in supporting that, because I am not on any sort of large network. Uh, I am very much sponsored by people, by humans uh, that enjoy my work, that uh, are, are willing to support independent DIY stand-up comedy content uh, that goes out uh, pretty much every single week. Um, you can become a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, this is one of the things uh, that you will help me do. You, you, by becoming a patron, it, it gets me closer to uh, making a living off of making these videos and and doing all the work that is necessary, that is usually done by a large team, by a large staff of people, that is only being done by one person. Uh, and every little bit helps. It all starts at $2 a month, which is the cost of one cup of coffee per month. For, by giving up one cup of coffee, maybe get a French press, you know, maybe get a coffee maker or something like that. I know it's a little bit extra time, but French presses are better anyway. They're more delicious cups of coffee. Uh, so, so there's so many benefits. There's already so many benefits of becoming a patron. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you, it's two bucks a month is where it starts. Uh, you get it. You're, you're going to be able to make a better cup of coffee at home. You're, you're going to be able to support independent DIY stand-up comedy content and uh, and feel good. You know, you can feel good about that. Uh, I think, I hope, I hope you feel good about it. Uh, I feel good about making this stuff. Uh, this is what I've always wanted to do. Uh, I don't see myself really doing anything else except for comedy related stuff. Uh, specifically socially conscious comedy related stuff. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this gives you guys a little bit more insight about uh, the amount of work that, it, that goes into creating these episodes. Uh, and why sometimes it takes me longer to put out content, but when I do put them out, that it's it's because there's all this stuff behind it. Uh, but thank you guys for supporting, uh, for those that are already supporting, and for people that are considering to support. Uh, thank you, thank you for for, for for all the future supporters as well. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys check out the the past episodes, and uh, I hope. Uh, I hope you guys uh, become patrons. Thank you guys very much. See you on the road.